there's not a person in this courtroom that looks at a mechanical bull and thinks that someone stays on. Isn't that part of the fun, Mr. Anderson? That is all part of the fun. She knew she was going to fall, and that's okay. We don't have Which a problem with that, Your Honor. Mr. Anderson, tell me the impact of these injuries on your family. My wife is in a cast right now. She can't go to the bathroom. She can't change her clothes. She can't do any of the normal things that a person would be able to do. That, all that stuff that she used to do, I have to do it for her. Mr. and Mrs. Anderson, I see that you all submitted $33,000 for past medical bills. Yes. That's got to weigh pretty heavy on your family. Yes. Yes. And uh, you all are seeking $20,000 for future medical. Yeah, I, yes. I have a bunch of screws and bolts and stuff in my arm. I still have to have an additional surgery, not to mention the physical therapy that I'm going to have to continue to go to. I go to therapy three, four times a week. So, Mr. and Mrs. Brown, you don't think you're responsible for this? We feel sorry and we have empathy for this situation. And you didn't pay my money. But she knew that there was a risk there ain't gonna of be her no, falling no, no off. Money. You should not have gotten on the bull. There no, was you signs. Didn't pay my money. You knew that there was a risk. You should not have gotten on the bull. You should you not have not... had your rider get on the back of the bull. Folks, there ain't gonna be no folks, cash today, madam. I'll well, tell you we'll that let much. the judge decide. You need to take responsibility. There's for gonna your be order in this courtroom. You need to pay me my money, Miss Anderson, Mr. Brown. I need order in my court. Address your comments to me. You see, my head is sweating. Folks, to better understand the nature of your injuries, this court has consulted Dr. Jamila Gator. Sheriff, will you retrieve Dr. Gator from the hallway? Yes, Your Honor. Hello, doctor. Hello. Come on in, make yourself comfortable, please. Dr. Gator, can you explain Ms. Anderson's injuries? Yes, Your Honor. She was diagnosed with a displaced clavicle fracture. We describe it as displaced because the two ends of the bone are actually separated. Surgery is definitely required. And so here you see there's actually a plate fixation where a plate is placed on top of the bone and screws are actually drilled into the bone. So how long is the recovery on this? Definitely weeks and weeks of physical therapy and strengthening. And so then many months later, the hardware after the bone is healed is taken out in that case. What do you estimate her future medical cost to be? If she has to have a future surgery, it could be as high as $20,000. Wow. Jeez. Thank you, doctor. You are released. You're welcome. Appreciate Thank you. you. You may step down. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Brown, you don't seem like you really have a heart on this thing. I, I'm, no. I'm a little he, no. bothered he, by that. He, he, he there is no validity care. to this case, Your Honor. We have a legal document that was signed by Ms. Anderson indemnifying us of any legal recourse okay. damage upon being her on this ride, Your Honor. Sheriff Matt, if you'll retrieve everybody that Everybody has to understand and sign one of these legal documents before they're allowed to take part in this activity, sir. As you can see, it's signed. Okay, so you signed a waiver. You all remember signing a waiver, right? I did, Your Honor. I, okay, did, I and did sign it. The pertinent part reads, release of liability. Number one, I acknowledge that riding a mechanical bull entails risks that could result in physical or emotional injury, paralysis, death, injury, or damage to me. That me being you, Ms. Anderson. Is that your signature on this document? Yes, Your Honor, that is my signature. Well, did you read it before you signed it? No, Your Honor, I'll be honest, I didn't read it. Let me give you a legal lesson. Whenever you sign a legal document, the law presumes that you've read it before you sign it. Now, you have to have ample time to read it, but when you get ample time to read it, whether you read it or not, if you sign it like you did, you gotta live by it. You expect them to live by this waiver. You all plan to live by the waiver too, right? Exactly. Of course. So you all see that when you sign a document like this with that kind of language, you relieve them of all responsibility. Do you understand that? I understand that, Your Honor, but... Regardless of how badly you're injured, because the law says when you say they're not responsible, you take on the consequences, whatever happens, even if it's this bad. But, but Your Honor... <laughs> But what about Your Honor. the fact that, you know, just like they have that that says ride at your own risk, what about the fact that it's supposed to be one rider at a time, Your Honor? Well, you all have a rule, one rider at a time. One rider at a time? And there was one rider. These bills are killing me, Your Honor. Oh, oh, oh. 